Hi there, my name is Laura and I'm a consular officer here at the U.S. Consulate in Chennai. The right of U.S. citizens to vote is a fundamental right afforded protection by the U.S. Constitution. And we're here to ensure that every eligible voter knows how to request an absentee ballot and vote from abroad. So let's go through the steps right now so you know how to register to vote and request an absentee ballot. First, go to fvap.gov. This is the official website for the Federal Voting Assistance Program. Navigate up to Overseas Citizen Voters and click on How to Vote Absentee. Here you'll see the two easy steps that are required to register to vote and request an absentee ballot, and then instructions on how to actually fill out your ballot and send it once it arrives but we're gonna register and request our absentee ballot today. You can do that by completing the federal postcard application, available here. So make sure that you read through all of the fine print and click I accept to continue. Now, you can choose your state of voting residence by using your last legal residence in the United States. For the purposes of this example, let's just say that uh, the last place I lived in the United States was Newark, New Jersey. So let's click on New Jersey. And Newark, of course, is in Essex County, so scroll down to select the correct county. For the absentee ballot classification, make sure that you read through all of the options and choose the one that is most appropriate to your circumstances. So for this example, let's just say that I'm a U.S. citizen living outside the country and my intent to return to the U.S. is uncertain. Make sure that you correctly fill out all of your personal information here. For your voting residence, that would be your last legal residence in the United States. Enter your mailing address here, and for us, this would be our mailing address here in India. Make sure that you read the instructions here to see if entering a forward address is appropriate to your situation. Here you can select how you would like to receive your ballot, either by email or online, through mail or by fax. But whatever you choose, make sure that you fill out your contact information here at the bottom so that your local election official can contact you if necessary. Here you can designate the period for which you want to receive ballots. And then review all of the information that you input into FVAP to make sure that it's correct. If you need to make a correction, you can do that by clicking the edit button in the lower right hand corner uh, before you continue. Then all you have to do is click to download your FPCA package and sign it. Then make sure that you put it into a, an envelope. And here you can see in the middle of the page that you can download the envelope, an envelope with postage paid. Now, if you're not sure where to send your voting materials, what you can do is you can navigate up here to Voting Assistance Officer and scroll down to Voting Assistance Guide. Here again, you'll select the state appropriate to you, so we'll select New Jersey. And here you'll see a bunch of important information. For example, here you'll see the federal election deadlines for New Jersey. And if you scroll down, you'll see the contact information for each local election office. So if we want to see Essex County's information, here it is, their address, their fax, and their email. So once you're done filling out all of the information, make sure that you download and print the federal postcard application. Before you seal it in an envelope, be sure that you sign it here at the bottom and date it with today's date. You can also download the postage paid on a sheet of paper and print it out. Then put your voting materials in the envelope and seal it. Now you can either drop this off with us here at the consulate or you can put it in a separate envelope and send it to us here.
If you do decide to send your voting materials to the U.S. Consulate, make sure that it's signed and sealed in a postage paid envelope. Or if you decide to put it in your own envelope, make sure that it has sufficient domestic postage so that it can reach your voting official in the U.S. If you have any questions at all, you can contact us at chennaics at state.gov. We'll be holding a Facebook Live event to answer any and all questions you may have on August 17th, so be sure to join us on social media.